The undefeated Miami Dolphins visited Yankee Stadium in the 13th week of the season. And despite the fact that they were out of contention, the Giants never let down. A relaxed Alex Webster and his Giants were determined to break the Miami streak. Shula's team was bucking the law of averages and a hostile crowd of 63,000 who would have enjoyed nothing more than to witness a Dolphin defeat in the big town. Dolphins coming in with the highest scoring team in the NFL and the team that permits the fewest points. Whistle, Garo Squibber bounces down inside the 20. It'll be picked up by Ordunia at the 15. Out across the 20. Finds a hole, 30, 35. Across the 40, it is right down at the 50 yard line. A tackle by Larry Ball. And they had the blocking wedge right up in front there, and uh, that was a short, swift kick. And they come out of it with excellent field position. Up at the 50 yard line. And return of some 35 yards by Ordunia. The uh, Giants are, as we gave them to you, Don Herman is a wide receiver left. They set the full house backfield, and now we get a power eye left. Norm Sneed, the quarterback. Here is the handoff. Going inside is Clemens. A big hole down inside the Dolphins. 40 over the right side. He's not knocked down until he gets to the 39-yard line. The free safety, Jake Scott, is the man who brought him down. That is good for a first down for New York. Inside the Dolphins, 40 at the 39. And these guys aren't playing like they're they're out of any NFC at large berth. They're playing uh, like they came to play. And I'll tell you, Rick Van Horn and Tafani may make me bite my tongue. They rear block it out there. Third down and six. Giants football at the Dolphins' 35-yard line. Here is Snead on third and six, dropping the throw. He fires in the middle and is caught. And hey, look at us. Did he get in? No. He was dropped short at the one-yard line. The recipient of the pass was Herman. He was tipped up by Jake Scott at about the one-yard line. 34 yards on the pass completion to Don Herman. The wide receiver breaking off from the far side, and the Giants have the football at the one-yard line. And he almost got into the end zone. So Sneed throwing a strike to Herman, and the Giants are knocking on the door. Out of the huddle they come. Clements and Johnson remain the, remain the backfield. Now they split off. First and goal from the Dolphins' one-yard line. Sneed sets his ball club on the snap. Hands to Johnson. He busts through the right side. They've got a touchdown. Ryan Johnson from one yard out. And that is his eighth touchdown on the ground this season. And so the Giants strike quickly with 12-23. Left to go in this, uh, in this first quarter. Henry? The rain has started falling here in Yankee City, Rick. Pete Gogolak will try the points from placement, and uh, Tom Blanchard, the punter, will hold. Here's the snap, set down, the kick is blocked. It is no good. And so it's a six to nothing uh, ball game. A drive by the Giants, 50 yards, five plays, consumed two minutes and 37 seconds. Johnson scoring his eighth touchdown on the ground with a one yard run. Dolphin football action continues from Yankee Stadium with a score, the Giants six and our Dolphins nothing. So the Dolphins setting Miami offensively for you. Earl Morrill, the quarterback, Pulley, and Warfield, the wide receivers. Mar Fleming, the tight end, and Morris. And Zonka will be the running back. The tackles are Wayne Moore and Norm Evans. Bob Kuchenberg and uh, Larry Little are the guards. Jim Langer is the center. From the 24, second down and six. On the snap. His moral play fake fires the middle. Warfield has got it. He's not knocked down until he gets across the 45 at the Dolphins 46-yard line. They deep plant over the middle as Morrow fires up his ball club with a first down pitch to Paul Warfield. A 22-yard completion out to the Dolphins 46. Dolphins football from our 46. The Giants leading 6 to nothing. Here is a handoff. Burke, a big hole across the 50, down to the 45, down to the 40-yard line. In New York Territory and a gaping hole across the left side. Morris rambles for 14 yards and the Dolphins pick up another first down as this offense of the Miami football team is fired up after uh, the defense coughed up a touchdown to open the ball game. The ball at the uh, Giants 34. Mandich has come in and Kick has come in as Fleming and Morris are out. Third down and four. Dolphins from the Giants 34. Morrill dropping the throw. He fires out. It is caught by Kick. He's got the first down inside the 30, and he's knocked off his feet at the New York 26-yard line. Third down and seven at the New York 23. Big play coming up as Kick has come in. Mandich has come in. 
Butch and Sundance, the split back, in behind Morrill, third down and seven. Earl dropping the throw, he sets up, fires in the middle. It is caught by Mandich inside the 15. He's got a first down at the 12-yard line. Right over the uh, right over the New York zone, and they are playing uh, mostly a zone defense. They will go to man-for-man -man only about 15% of the time. Jim Files made the tackle on the play. Morrill is three for three for 43 yards in the passing department now, unofficially. Dolphins with a first down. That's the giant 12-yard line. Morris is back in there with Zonka as a running back. Morrill, the quarterback, hands to Merck. The sweep to the near side. Gets the quarter turn. He's at the five. He's got a touchdown. Mercury Morris from 12 yards out. The sweep to the near side. And the Merck behind good blocking up front and behind Larry Zonka. Runs it in for 12 yards. And it's a tie ball game, 6-6. Six -six. That for Morris is his 12th touchdown. And that sets a new Dolphin club record. Breaks the old one. Held by... Uh, by Paul Warfield, and your premier is in to try the point from placement, and Morrow will hold. If he makes it, why, the Dolphins will go out in front since the Giants have theirs blocked. Waiting for the snap now. Here it is, set down, the kick is up, and he drills it up there. The kick is good, and Miami takes the lead, 7-6. to six. With 6.25 to go in the first period, Dolphin football action continues from Yankee Stadium with the score. Our Dolphins 7, the Giants 6. On the kickoff, Thompson out with the run from the 2. He's across the 25, hit, fumbles the ball, and the Dolphins recover at the Giants' 28-yard line. Just as we came back, your premium kicked the football off. Rocky Thompson grabbed it at the 2. He was hit, fumbled the ball, and the Dolphins come up with it at the Giants' 28. Charlie Lee is the man who fell on it. A big fumble recovery of the Dolphins who have just scored on an 80-yard drive in 10 plays, consuming 5 minutes and 52 seconds, and leading 7-6, to six, have the football right back again on Rocky Thompson's fumble, a 26-yard return. So Garrow is in to try what will be about a 43-yard field goal. Excellent coverage on the secondary, Rick, but then on top of that, Jack Gregory really came in and harassed, the, harassed Earl. Though he didn't get to Earl, he caused Earl to step up into that pocket right in the hands of Reed. All right, that's the 19th time the Dolphins passer has been dropped this year. Stunning going on, on and somebody jumped offside for the Giants. Looks like they were going to try a blitz on the uh, block attempt. And so they are penalized five yards. It was cornerback Pete Athos who was jumping around, but he didn't get back in time. And so illegal procedure on the defense is called, and Garrow now will try a 38-yarder. The ball is put down at the Giants' 31. Morrill will hold. This is an extremely... Four or five of the field out there. A little bit treacherous snap. Sit down. The kick is up. He's got the distance. It is perfect. That Dolphin drive, after Charlie Lee recovered Thompson's fumble on the last kickoff, lost two yards. Four plays, a minus two. Your premium kicking a 38-yard field goal. With 4.46 to go in this first quarter, the Dolphins now lead 10 to 6. Dolphin football action continues from Yankee Stadium with a score. Our Dolphins 10, the Giants 6. It'll be a second down and 10 at the Miami 49-yard line. We have a minute and 12 seconds to go in the first quarter. Play fake. Running out to his right. Den Herder on him. He gets the pass away. It's caught by Tucker. He is bouncing off tacklers inside the 20. Dragon people with him. And he's not knocked down until he gets to the 15-yard line. Tim Foley. A great play by Sneed as Den Herder put the rush on him. He didn't get to him quite in time. They were looking for the play fake. He got the pass away. Tucker made a great catch. And uh, wrestled off tacklers, bouncing off people, and Foley finally brought him down at the Miami 15-yard line. So the Dolphins' defense has their backs up against the wall once again. There's the gun. That's the end of the first quarter. Dolphins' action continues from Yankee Stadium with a score. Our Dolphins 10 and the Giants 6. Herman has a wide man right, and Houston is actually in the backfield. Looks like the old single wing formation. Now they shift to a power eye right with Houston as the wide man. Here is Snead, the handoff, going to Clements inside, digging, driving, bucking his way inside the 10. Oh, the Dolphins have got it. Wait a minute, yes, the Dolphins have it at the 8-yard line. Doug Swift fell on it. Dick Anderson also, and I believe Anderson will get the fumble recovery. And that for Dick is uh, his seventh fumble recovery. Swift is the man who hit him, and Anderson comes up with it. So the Giants turn it over. That's their second turnover. And that drive is thwarted. As Clements was searched as he went through the line of scrimmage, and Anderson comes up with the ball. The Dolphins have it now at the Miami 8-yard line. Henry? Rick, the rain is really coming down down here now, and that may be uh, 
a portion of things to come as far as fumbles are concerned. It's coming down very, very heavily, and they're in a muddy part of the field. Third down and three, Miami football at the Dolphin 15-yard line. On third down, on a delay, here's kick over the left side, big hole, 20 out to the 25, and he's got the first down at the 27-yard line. Good block over there. As kick rambles out across the 25 to the 27, and uh, Carl Lockhart having to come up to make the tackle, and again, the Dolphins convert. That third down, and move the ball out with a first down at our 27-yard line. All right, Warfield out of the huddle, switched to the far side. They've thrown to Paul once this afternoon for reception. Fully has also been thrown to once, but he did not uh, hang on to the ball. It was a bad pass. Here's the uh, delay, the drop, the middle, kick running like a man possessed. Across the 40, he's across the 45, dragging tacklers with him inside the 50, down to the New York 46-yard line. Holy Toledo, did he have a hole that time, and he was just digging and driving and bucking and carrying people with him. And they're going to put it down at the 48-yard line in Giants territory. Jim Kick, running like he has not run all season, picks up 28 yards, and a Miami first down at the Giants 48. Rick, he must have carried Pete Addis on that play for at least 10 yards. Addis jumped on his back and, and didn't bother Jim one iota. Just kept going. He, somebody had to come in and help Addis. Let's, uh, let's change the distance to 26 yards for kick. Fully splits near side. Morris is back in there. He's an eye back with Zonka. From the New York 48-yard line. Morrill pitches to Morris. Sweeps to the right behind Zonka. Cuts back to his left. He's across the 40. Still going and not wrapped out of bounds until he gets to about the 35. <laughs> Mercury Morris with a good block from Larry Zonka out in front. And they put it down at the 36-yard line. That's good for a first down, a gain of 12. That'll bring up a third down and 12 situation as this New York defense stiffening up. At the Giants' 38, they've got to get to the 26 for a first down. Kick is in along with Zonka's the split back. Warfield split left, fully to the near side. Morrill drops the throw. He sets, he is firing. It is incomplete. Down inside the 20, intended for Twilly. So we get the field goal unit in, and Garrow will get a chance to try and make it two for two. This will be an approximate 45-yard attempt. And he's down looking at the ground. It's very, very muddy out there. 10-09, left to play in the first half. Dolphins lead 10 to 6. Waiting for the snap. Here it is, set down. The kick is up. It is going to be short and off to the kicker's left side and rolls out of the end zone for the uh, touchback. And so the Giants will get the ball at their 20-yard line and start from there. All right, 5.23 to go in this uh, first half. Dolphins leading 10 to 6. Blanchard standing back inside the 10. Line of scrimmage at 24. Here is the snap. He gets the punt out of there, and it's the uh, high end of a run kick. Jake Scott grabs it to Dolphins 36. Finds the hole, runs into a blocker, 40, cuts back to his left, the 45, holds on to the football, a nine-yard return for Jake that time. He ran into Lloyd Mumford, or he might have gotten a little bit uh, farther than that. The Dolphins come out of there with a uh, pretty good field position, and so we'll begin to operate from our 45. Five minutes to go in the first half. Giants scored the first time they had the ball and settled down pretty much routine. Kick in there, squirt through a big hole across the left side, inside the 50. Down to about the Giants' 46-yard line. Jim Kick is running beautifully this afternoon, getting great blocking up front. The ball is at the Giants' 45, and it's a second down and one as he uh, scrambled for nine, for, uh, nine yards. Warfield puts left fully to the near side. Morrill hands off to uh, Butch. He finds another hole behind uh, Larry Zonko over the left side. Squirt through for the first down across the 40, down to about the 35-yard line. Dolphins now with a first down at the New York 35-yard line. Three minutes, 45 seconds to go in the first quarter. Miami leads 10 to 6. Warfield splits left to the near side of Twilly. Butch and Sundance, the eye back. Here's a handoff. Uh, Connor, as the kick sprints it across the left side, gets about two down to the 33-yard line. And they're going to mark it down at the, uh, as soon as they dry it off, they haven't put it down yet, at about the 33-yard line. Again, if two, it'll be second down coming up, and we'll call it eight. Butch and Sundance are the splitbacks behind Morrill. From the Giants 33, Earl drops the throw, fires out for Warfield, can't hold it. at the 15-yard line. Out of his slot position from the right, he was coming uh, at about the 15 down the near side, and Morrill got the ball a little high. Warfield had to jump for it, and it's incomplete. We'll make a third down, an eight situation from the Giants 33. Fleming is out, Manich is in at tight end. Dolphins now are three for six in the third down conversion department this afternoon. Three minutes showing on the scoreboard clock. Left to play in the first half. Warfield's jersey completely covered with mud. He splits left fully to the near side. Back to throw on third down is Morrow. 
Firing deep downfield. Warfield, great catch. He is down, and he's in for the touchdown. Delayed call by the officials to make sure that he did get in. And Morrow hit Warfield on the deep post pattern. Paul made a tremendous catch at about the two-yard line, or the three, and bounced into the end zone. He fell to the ground, and the official coming across, we waited for his signification because it was away from us. And so Warfield, on a 33-yard touchdown pass from Earl Morrow, scores his second TD of the season. Well, it's now a 17-6 ball game in favor of the Dolphins with two minutes and 52 seconds left to go in uh, this first half. And that drive, 55 yards, five plays, and the big play was the 33-34 yard touchdown pass from Morrill to Paul Warfield, and the Dolphins now are having an 11-point margin. Rick, that catch just shows why people respect Paul Warfield so in the league. Actually, Williams and uh, Lockhart were, were right there on Paul as he went down for that pass, and he simply outran both of them. Just a beautiful job on Paul's part. And Earl threw that ball, couldn't have been laid out there more perfectly, right in his hands. Beautiful combination, great offensive play. We're back at Yankee Stadium, where it's wet here in New York City. A minute 55, left to play in the first half. The Dolphins lead 17 to six. Johnson picked up four yards on that last carry. They have a second down and six from the 40 yard line. Seed as six for seven unofficially with 120 yards through the air. And he uh, has hit Tucker and Herman with long gainers this afternoon. Here is Snead on the delay handoff. Going to Clements around the left side, 45 to the 50 and into Dolphin territory. He's knocked down at the Miami 44-yard line. A tackle by Curtis Johnson. A delay on the uh, on the play and Clements picks up good yardage and uh, New York calls a timeout. A minute and 42 seconds left to play in this first half. Snead comes over to the near sideline here right down below us. Talks things over with Alex Webster as Clements. That time on the delay, boomed over the left side and picks up a first down down at the Miami 44-yard line. Using up their uh, another timeout. They have a minute and eight seconds on the board before the halftime expires. They have a first down at the Miami 32-yard line with the Dolphins leading by a score of 17 to six. Here is Snead dropping the throw. Here comes the rush. He fires the pass. It is caught and out of bounds. At the Dolphins eight-yard line is Rick Houston, number 84. And that, of course, sets up a first and goal situation for New York down at the Miami eight-yard line. A second and goal. And they line up without a huddle. They don't have any timeouts left. The ball inside the one. Here's the handoff to Johnson over the right side. He's in for the touchdown. Ron Johnson on the second try. They didn't have any timeouts left, but they had to line up in a hurry from just inside the one. Johnson scores his second TD of the ball game, and that uh, gives him a total of nine on the year. Here is the kick. And this one, he gets through the upright. So with 26 seconds left to go in the half, the uh, Giants are right back in it, trailing by just four points at 17 to 13. That drive consumed two minutes and 14 seconds. 81-yard drive and 12 plays. Here's the first down for Miami as they put it down at the Dolphins' 43-yard line. And the clock is stopped with six seconds showing on the board. They are in a struggle here this afternoon with the Giants, and we're going to get the uh, all of the wide receivers in. Stowe lines up to the near side. As time is in, Briscoe the far side. Warfield is a flat man left. We've got three wide receivers in there. Zonka and Kick are the split backs. Dropping back to throw is Morrill. He sets. He is firing the ball deep. Down there is Warfield. He makes the grab. He makes the grab. A sensational catch inside the 15, but it's a no avail. As the clock runs out, he just could not shake the uh, tacklers who belted him to the ground, but a great pass and a great play to no avail, ending the first half as time runs out. That's the end of the first half with a score. Our Dolphins 17, the Giants 13, and the uh, Dolphins defense now must stop the Giants. The Giants obviously feel that they've got to get this running game going. Johnson was held at just 27 yards and 12 carries in the first half. And the Dolphins have got to start to get the Sneed. Then Sneed has really played ball control in this drive. They have to get to about the 12 for a first down. We'll call it the third and about four at the Dolphins 16 down at the west end of the field. Seven minutes to go in this third quarter. And they have used 
Almost five minutes in this drive. Houston splits left. Herman to the near side. Clement Johnson remain the split back. Third and fourth. The Dolphins 16. Back to throw goes Snead. He fires. It is incomplete. There wasn't anybody near the football. And somebody got mixed up there. And so Gogolak comes in to try a field goal. That was a busted pattern. The Giants are still standing around out there talking about it. Wasn't anybody near it. So the Dolphins' defense has held as far as a touchdown uh, it would appear in this particular situation. The ball is at the 16. This will be about a 23-yard attempt for Gogolak. On the season, he is 18 for 27 with 85 points. And Blanchard is in the hole. About a 23-yard attempt from straight out in front. Snap, set down. It's a fake. Blanchard, a quarterback, is going to throw. Now he's going to run. He fires the ball. It is dropped incomplete. And the Dolphins will take over down at their 16-yard line. That's uh, what we were kind of looking for because Blanchard, who holds and is the punter, is also a quarterback and was a good one at the University of Oregon. It was a fake field goal, and he put it out to the near side and tried to find a receiver open through the ball low. And so... They forsake three points. Trying to go for the TD and perhaps the first down to keep the drive alive, and they missed it. That drive consumed six minutes and 12 seconds. That stops the clock with a penalty. Four minutes, 31 seconds to go in the third quarter. Illegal motion is the call, and uh, the Giants decline it. Take the down instead. That'll bring up a second and 10 situation for the Dolphins from our 32-yard line. This has been a tenacious New York Giant defense. And they have put some pressure on Earl. He has been dumped only once, but they have been able to harass him. This goes with right, Warfield on the near side. Second and 10, Dolphins from the 32. Fake handoff on the play action. Moral spin fires down the near side. It is intercepted by the Giants, and down immediately is Willie Williams, the right cornerback at the New York 36 yard line. It was intended for Warfield. There is a flag, however, back upfield at the 43-yard line, and we'll see what this is all about. They get a personal foul call against the Giants, and they will march it off. And the penalty will be marched off from the uh, 36 against the Giants, a personal foul indication. The Giants will start from their 20-yard line with 4.23 to go in the third quarter. Miami leading 17-13. to There's been no scoring in this third quarter. Herman lines up to the far side. Houston to the near side. Clements and Johnson, the eye backs behind Norm Snead. On first down, he play fakes, drops the throw, and he has to eat it. We finally got to him. Bill Stansville put the, uh, put the quietus on that, and he flattens him out. Let's see where they're going to mark it. He hit it from the blind side, and that's the first time the Dolphins have gotten to Mr. Snead. They put it back at the 11-yard line, so he loses nine. It'll be a second down coming up in 19. Brings up a third down and six for the Giants. From their 35-yard line. Thus far in the ball game, Mr. Uh, Sneed on third down conversion is six out of ten. He's 12 for 18 through the air for 203 yards unofficially. A minute 56 seconds to go in his third period. Another big third down play for Sneed. He splits Herman to the far side, Houston to the near side. Clements and Johnson the split back. He drops the throw. He has time. He's being rushed now. He fires deep. It is picked off by Curtis Johnson. At the 45 in Dolphin territory, he gets back out to the 48-yard line. Curtis Johnson got up in front of Rich Houston that time, and the Dolphins take it away. As Curtis Johnson comes up with a big play of the ball game, and that for Curtis is his second interception of the season. We get a timeout on the field. Dolphin football action continues from Yankee Stadium with the score. Our Dolphins 17, the Giants 13. A second down and nine. The ball at the midfield stripe. A minute and 22 to go in the third quarter. Morris, long count at the, uh, Morrow, long count at the line of scrimmage. Stop. The throw. He is firing deep down the near sideline. Warfield. He's got it out of bounds inside the 20. Let's see what they're going to call it at the 17-yard line. A tremendous catch by the man that I consider to be the premier receiver. He's been hurt this year. He's been double, triple teamed. But what a catch he made there. Third and 22 from the Giants' 30-yard line with 12 seconds to go in the third quarter. Morrow barks those signals. He drops back to throw. He sets. He is going to run with the ball now. He's looking for a hole at the 25 and gets to the 23. He had nobody open. 
Pat Hughes, the linebacker, and Earl was almost trapped for a big loss. He broke out of the pocket and got the seven yards down to the 23-yard line. So the Dolphins are going to have to settle for a field goal, but there is no time left in the third quarter. That's the end of the third period. Dolphin football action will continue from Yankee Stadium where the sun has just broken through the clouds with the score. Our Dolphins 17, the Giants 13. And this is a big field goal here. They put the Dolphins seven points up if he can make it. Waiting for the snap. Set down. Kick is up. He's got the distance. It's perfect. And your premium puts you right through there. And this little guy under pressure has always been great, but the last two years have been just magnificent. So your premium with a 30-yard field goal. The Dolphins now have a seven-point lead with 14 minutes and 56 seconds left to play in this ball game. That drive, 27 yards, six plays. Your premium culminating it with a 30-yard field goal. The ball is at the Miami 49, fourth down, and about a foot and a half, maybe two feet to go for a first down. And they, it they, looks like they're going. They're going to go for it. They have to almost at this stage of the ball game, trailing by seven points with 12.22 to go. All right, long time in the huddle. They bring it. The two tight ends are in. Dick Coatsight is in there along with uh, Tucker. Here's the handoff to Johnson. He is through a hole to the right side, and he digs and drives to the 45 for the first time. Curtis Johnson makes the tackle. Ron Johnson, thus far in the ball game, has carried a total of 21 times. He is really a workhorse. The Dolphins defense now with a pressure on them. A second down and eight for the Giants at the Miami 28-yard line. Houston splits far side. Herman to the near side. Clements and Johnson, the split back behind Sneed. Sneed takes the handoff. Here's the pitch back in the backfield. A ball ball. Who's got it? Who's got it? At the 33, a big pile up. Miami's got it. That was an intended run uh, on a, uh, a tight end around, and Tucker, the man whom the ball was pitched to, fumbled it. Bob Hines recovered for Miami, and Manny Fernandez forced the play, so the Dolphins' defense takes the ball on another giant turnover at a crucial situation in the ball game. We get a timeout on the field. Dolphins football action will continue in one minute. The score, our Dolphins 20 and the Giants 13. Giants have been guilty of four turnovers this afternoon, three fumbles, all of which have been recovered by Miami, and Curtis Johnson's pass interception. Morrill has been intercepted once. And we've got a third and five, another uh, third down situation coming up. Let's see where they're going to mark it. Just shy of the 50. They call it the 50-yard line. Kick is in. Mandich is in. Morris and Fleming go out. Five minutes, 52 seconds to go. The Dolphins have to keep the ball here. Third down and five. They lead by only seven, 20 to 13 against a rock hard giant football team. Warfield splits left, let's go to the near side. Kick and Tonka, the split back behind Morrill. Third and five from the 50 yard line. Back to throw. Morrill sets up. He is firing deep. This goes down there. He can't hold it. The ball knocked away on a fine defensive play by Pete Athens, the youngster from Miami. That brings up a fourth down. And Dick Anderson will punt. The Dolphins certainly hate to get the football up here. Grimm and uh, Athos are back as the deep man. Anderson standing back at the Miami 35 with 5 minutes 32 seconds to go. The line of scrimmage is the 50-yard line. Here is the snap. He gets the kick out of there. Tie and it's not deep at all. End over end. Depending on the bounce. Hit somebody. Who's football? Who's got it? Who's got it? Looks like Miami may have picked it up and hit a giant. John Mendenhall is the man who, uh, whom it hit. Larry Ball fell on it. Now let's see what the officials are going to call it. That ball took a bounce and it hit Mendenhall. Apparently Miami's football. So the Dolphins get a, a big break on that play. Rick, I'll tell you, that's great kicking on the part of Anderson because really Mendenhall never even looked up, saw the ball coming at him, hit him right in the headgear, and Ball play, played heads up ball and recovered, the, recovered that punt. So we have a third down situation and uh, about seven yards to go for a first down. The ball is on the 13 is where they put it down there. The Dolphins lead 20 to 13, four minutes and three seconds to go. Warfield splits far side, Briscoe near side. Kick and Zonka. The ball at the 13, they need to get the six for a first down. This is the third and seventh situation. Here is the handoff, going to kick. Slams over the right side and inside the 10. I don't believe he got enough for a 
first down. He's brought down at about the eight-yard line. A tackle by the middle linebacker, Ron Hornsby. And the Dolphins will send in Garrow, who has field goals of 37 and 30 yards. Missed one of 45. The ball is on the nine-yard line, so this will be an approximate 16-yard attempt. And Garrow out there with that towel, wiping himself <laughs> off the plate. This is very important. He's digging a hole with a towel right where he wants Morrill to set the ball down. This is a big, a big field goal attempt. 3-10 left to go. The Dolphins lead by seven. Here's the snap. Set down. The Premian puts it up. It's good. So the little guy again with three minutes and four seconds left to play in this football game. It's now 23 to 13. Dolphin football action will continue in one minute. As we said, the score are Dolphins 23, the Giants 13. Snead drops back to throw. Fires the middle. It's intercepted by the Dolphins. Six for the county. And Nick is knocked down inside the 40-yard line of the Giants, down to about the 36. So the Dolphins' defensive captain picks off his second pass of the year. He grabbed that at about the 45. It was intended for the tight end, Tucker. And he gets it back down to the Giants' 36-yard line. We got a timeout. That is six turnovers for New York. And they have beaten themselves with mistakes and good Dolphin defense and good offense this afternoon. And that has to be a real happy Nick Bonacani that was going off the field there, Rick. He came in here saying that he's going to hold that Ron Johnson, keep him down from, from really making a big mark here against the defense. And he's done a darn good job. Then to cap it off here with this interception right at the end of the game. What could be sweeter? Clock is stopped with a minute and 42 seconds left to go. The Dolphins with a 10-point lead. The Dolphins have scored six points in this fourth quarter on field goals by Yepremian. The Giants have been shut out in the second half. It'll bring up a fourth down and four situation, and Morrow is looking over to the uh, the Dolphin bench. Garrow is still over there. They're going to go for it. Keep their hands on the ball. We're inside the minute mark now. 55 seconds. Left to play in this football game. Fourth and three from the uh, Giants' 30-yard line. Morris and Zonka, the eye back behind Morrill. Here's the handoff to Merck again for a hole on the right side. He may go. He's down to the 15, down to the 10, to the 5, and he's not run out of bounds until he gets down to about the 1 or the 2-yard line. Mercury Morris busted one off the right side and had a tremendous hole over there. With 37 seconds to go, the Dolphins have a first and goal situation down at the two-yard line. Mercury unofficially has gone over the 100-yard mark. This is unofficial. We have him unofficially with a 101 yards, which will be the fourth time this year. and leaves him only 92 yards shy of the 1,000-yard mark. We stress again that it, it is unofficial. The Dolphins with a first and goal at the two-yard line with 37 seconds left to play. Here's the handoff. Burke flips, falls down, trying to make his cut in over the right side. And they put the ball at the three, so he did lose the yard. And it'll be second down and goal from the three-yard line. The clock is moving with 12 seconds, 11 seconds. This could be the last play of the ball game. If they get it off, six seconds, five seconds. They set in the eye, three seconds, two seconds, one second. And they do not get the play off. The Dolphins have the clock run out on them at the three-yard line of the Giants. The final score as Miami becomes only the fifth team in the history of the National Football League. The Dolphins win it by a 23 to 13 margin, shut out the Giants in the second half. So we say almost every week, Pat, those amazing Dolphins could have been our choice as best of the week almost any week so far. The Dolphins were now only one game away from the NFL's first perfect 14-game season. 